personal pockets to the top because I got rich without it. Only thing they should be saying is, baby, keep it solid. We ain't even deep as you used to be. This shit's sweet to body. Brian got no hustle or nothing, so he gon' stick to body. Hi besties, welcome back to another video. And as y'all can see by the title, today is maintenance week and today we're preparing for my 20th birthday. You're 20? I really don't know how to feel. My birthday is in four days and it just does not feel like my birthday at all. I don't know, I just feel so weird. Now this year I do have some things planned but nothing really much. All of this stuff that I really wanted to do just kind of fell through. It's not like I planned a trip. Maybe after I get my prep done, I'll feel like it's my actual birthday because I still just do not feel like it. I have my nail appointment today. I have my hair appointment tomorrow. Sometime in between those days, I need to go get my toes done. I bought like a whole birthday dress, but I don't even know if I'm gonna get to wear that outfit because I forgot to buy a purse to go with the outfit. So it might look a little weird. I just still haven't made my decision up about what I actually wanna do. And I just really don't know because I wanted to do something cute and girly, like go make candles or um, try pottery class. As you grow up, you realize like you make your birthday special. I think I think that was last year for my 19th birthday. I just spent it with my family and I honestly had the best time. And I'm such a procrastinator. It's like now, like at the last minute, I still don't know what exactly I'm doing for my birthday. 20 is a new chapter. Like I'm officially not gonna be a teenager anymore which is low key fucking scary. Like I don't even feel 20. It is 9.30 in the morning. So I'm getting ready for my nail appointment, which is at 11. I'm kind of just getting myself together a little bit early because I'm not gonna do any makeup or anything like that. I'm literally just gonna brush out my hair, throw on a cute little comfy outfit and just go because it's early as fuck. And like I low key when I woke up this morning, I didn't even wanna go. Tomorrow, my hair appointment is also at 11 a.m. So I need to take out my hair tonight and wash it because it's dirty. And this lace is shod, fried, and laid to the side. And then I'm also like stressed out on the back end because as y'all know, like I wanna be posting twice a week and i was supposed to drop a video on sunday which was the 10th it's still not approved by the company they basically try to play in my face and say like oh we wanted you to do this this and this but you didn't do it and before i even filmed the video to avoid this i always ask companies like what is the talking points like what are the filming requirements do you want a voice over like what do you want and they sent me a whole list and everything that they sent me is what I did. And then they tried to come and say, oh, like, we expected a lot more. What do you mean you expected a lot more? That's literally what you asked me. And I hit all of those points. And this is not my first rodeo when it comes to sponsorships and how they'll act when it's time for them to review a video. And I literally had to blank on that lady. I'm like, girl, I literally did exactly what you asked me. So for you to say that this is less than what you deserve, girl, this this is literally what you asked for. So why, don't be mad at me, but it's only 9.33 and this is just all I'm gonna do to my face. I have to go feed Coda and walk him and everything. And by the way, Coda's been doing so good. I'm just still on some type of random little comfortable fit because I'm just gonna go get my nails done. It's way too early. So I'll see y'all when I'm probably in the car showing y'all my inspo picture because I forgot to do that, but it's past the time that Coda needs to eat, so I have to go handle that first. All right, y'all, so it is 10.36. I'm about to go ahead and head to my nail appointment, but this is the set that I think that I wanna go with. Just something really cute and simple. I was gonna do something like this, but I feel like the simple one that I showed y'all, this is actually really cute, but I think the other one that I showed y'all is just a little bit more me, because I really just wanted to do French tip, but I'm like, girl, it's your birthday, so at least do something, like get a little charm. I feel like my vibe might be just a little bit off in the beginning, but just wait, y'all, just wait, because I know at the end, when it's actually getting close to my birthday, I'm gonna feel a lot better right now. I'm just kind of stressed out, but as the maintenance like after i get my hair done i know i'm gonna i'm gonna be good because i'm gonna have my nails done i'm gonna have my hair done that's my tea i'm about to go ahead and head there it's gonna take me like 15 minutes to get there so it's really cold in here though i'll be turning down the heat because it blasts and when it's on it's like so loud but i gotta get my gps pulled up so that's what i'm about to do throw this in the bag because that's where it belongs i'll see y'all when i get to my nail appointment i'm going to the same girl who did my nails in my last maintenance vlog and by the way i just popped off all of my nails instead of getting a filling which i forgot fillings even existed every time i get my nails done i just get a full set because i don't know like i just stopped getting fillings but i took the last set off because i didn't want the almond shape i just wanted like a cute 
French tip square so maybe my next set I'll just get a fill in because I know I'm gonna want the square like I can get square again if that makes sense so yeah I'm gonna start taking advantage of fill ins because I've been getting my nails done every two weeks which is really good for me because sometimes I be going like three months two months four months without getting my nails done because I just don't want them but I've been in a let's get my nails done kick so I'm not complaining about it but I might get a feeling after this set or I might just take them off completely because I be need giving my nails time to breathe like going to a nail tech my nails are not even brittle at all from having the acrylic on because she actually takes care of my nails and don't just slap the glue up there slap the you know like she does real good so I'm about to go ahead and head over there because it's 10 40 now besties so i just wanted to pop in and let you guys know about something that is literally so cool because today's video is sponsored by i care private label with i care private label they make it so easy and so simple to start your own skincare line now if you're an esthetician or an upcoming esthetician or just want to formulate your own skincare line this is the place for you so first things first i care private label will make it smooth as silk for you to start making your own skincare products and the online process is a game changer it literally makes it so easy for you to navigate and customize products according to your vision and just to make the process just as easy and so that you don't get stressed out they offer low minimum quantities so this means that you do not have to buy all these products in bulk they're not a supplier or anything like that so you can basically make your own skincare line without breaking the bank as I mentioned before, when you choose I Care Private Label, this process is so fast and you can literally start your own line in less than two weeks, which is insane to me. It's such a fast process. And here's the catch. They even have free label design and printing. So that way you don't have to go and get a graphic designer or somebody else to design it for you and then place them on the bottles. This company will handle all of that for you and really make your vision come to life. And for your formulas, they offer everything from creams to serums. I actually have a hyaluronic acid cleanser and then also a night cream. The packaging is literally so breathtaking and beautiful. I would literally use these things as decoration. That's how cute they are. They offer a beautiful array of different packaging options to choose from. So that way your products look amazing, but they will also perform very well. Honestly, they make it so easy and convenient for people to really get their hands on these and if I was you I would run to I care private label to go ahead and get you your own skincare line all of the details that you need will be in the description box down below so do not forget to check it out go and turn your ideas into reality and thank you so much I care private label for sponsoring this portion of today's video okay y'all so I made it home and I'm now in the bed it is 102 these are how my nails came out literally so cute she didn't have pink bows she only had one pink bow so i decided to just do pink french tip with the white bows and i feel like it came out literally so cute like she ate i love the whole bow aesthetic it's just so cute and girly so i got these and these are medium but they're kind of a little bit longer than what i normally get either way though i literally love them like they're eating so bad and i feel like that girl now that i got my nails back like hello hey what's up what's tea what's good <laughs> y'all see the nails that's literally all the maintenance that I'm doing today um besides tonight if my mom washes my hair for me I'm gonna look at my braids and see if they need to be washed although they do need to be washed and I actually want to cut my hair like cut a good chunk of it off and let it regrow back healthy because I feel like my ends are kind of dead and I really do need to wash my hair so other than that that'll be the only maintenance I'll be doing is getting my hair washed later on tonight but I probably won't show that whole process because it's just too much. Like I literally hate getting my hair washed and I wish that I could be removed from the shackles of hating getting my hair washed. But I just don't like it and I never have. So the nails are done. I'll probably take my wig off a little bit later on tonight and then take my hair down. Because tomorrow I have a hair appointment at 11am. 
So I'll probably see y'all right before I'm about to leave for that. Good morning, queens. I literally just finished blowing my hair out. Um, This is for other people who probably thought I was bald headed, but I'm not bald headed. It was a lot cuter and not shrunk in before I went outside to go take Coda out. But yeah, this is my natural hair. She is getting long, she is getting healthy. And I literally never show y'all my natural hair, probably like once a year. So here's y'all natural hair check for 2024. But it is 10.35, I just wanted to check in with y'all i literally have been rushing like i woke up at like 8 30 to go ahead and get my hair washed because i was supposed to get it done last night but my mom had another client so i just told her she could wash mine in the morning and then she blow dried a little bit of it for me but i had to finish the rest and i really don't know how to do my own hair like when it comes to anything so i'm about to go ahead and head to my hair appointment it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to get there but i'm gonna go on the highway that way it could take me less than 20 minutes but i have been ripping and running all morning woke up immediately got my hair washed i had to get dressed take coda out feed coda now i'm about to put coda back up and then i'm about to leave so yeah my room is a mess like everything is just a mess and i'm just gonna take care of it after i get back home i just can't do it right now um like i said i just wanted to check in with y'all i feel like i'm in a rush and i'm talking really fast because i am in a rush my car is warming up right now and I need to be out this house in three minutes. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to Alicia's house so I can get my head done. just made it back home this is how my hair turned out it's literally so cute so now we got the hair done we got the nails done the next thing i need to go do is get my feet done and then also go shopping for a pair of jeans and a new shirt to wear which i probably won't even need but i think that i will i'm gonna probably do that maybe tomorrow i'm stressed i'm stressed like and when i say it's so hot outside it's so hot in the house it's so much going on behind the scenes and y'all are gonna see so soon so i feel like i'm just doing a million and two things at once but it's all okay it's all okay the 15th i'm actually supposed to be starting my birthday vlog because i'm going to dinner on that day but i'm just starting to think now like what do i actually want to do for my birthday and that's just nothing like it's nothing that i want to go actually do besides shop i was looking at some things that me and my friends could go do in raleigh but it's just not that many like i don't know it's like i'm to the age where i just don't really like it's not that i don't care about my birthday but i really just don't care about making it look lit and posting it on social media and really i just need to focus on myself and making myself happy because at this age you really got to make your own birthday special yeah coda is here bothering me because i just got back home we just went for a walk and it is hot outside y'all where's my phone it is 74 degrees but it feels like 80 so this long sleeve and these pants it just gotta go but I got pizza last night for dinner, so I'm about to warm that up and then edit my hair vlog because that's a sponsorship that I have to do. And then I also have to fix one of my other videos, the Days in My Life vlog. That way it can be up for y'all and already and stuff like that. So that's my tea. I'll see y'all probably tomorrow or the next day when I'm trying to go get my toes done and go shopping for like my last minute outfits because I'm just a last minute bitch. Hey besties. So it is now the next day and it is 12.25 p.m. I just got out the shower, which is why I'm looking like a glazed donut. I have a video uploading, which is a sponsorship. My vlog that I think I talked about in this video finally got approved to go live and I'm I'm also getting ready because I'm about to go get my toes done. And y'all, it is 80 degrees outside today. So as of right now, my birthday is literally in two days. My birthday is on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I'm super excited about that. I feel like this video really hasn't been long or I haven't been very talkative i would say because i've just been getting maintenance done and then after getting my toes done that's literally all the maintenance that i'm gonna get done because this year my birthday is just like all over the place and i'm not mad about it because i'm all over the place i just wanted to get out of the house and at least do something so y'all will see all about that in my next video today i do have to go to the grocery store and cook coda some more food because y'all he is not eating that kibble like he'll eat it 
when the rice and the ground beef and peas and carrots is up there but after that's all gone he won't eat the kibbles i'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup just my eyebrows and then just throw on some mascara i don't want to do my makeup because y'all know when you do your makeup too many times back to back it just don't come out right so i gotta wait it out until tomorrow when i'm doing my makeup that way i can look all cute and stuff because when you wait it out when you don't do your makeup for a couple of days trust when you do, it's going to be a look. And that's just how it is for me every single time. Like, when I'm doing my makeup too often, it just starts looking fucking crazy. So, I'm very excited to start a new chapter in my life. A lot of things are changing. I've grown so much. And it's so crazy that I'm in my last couple of days of being a teenager. I'm about to be a whole, like, adult. Even though I'm not 21 yet, but, like, I'm going to be a whole adult. Like, you're 20. My, I'm not a teen anymore. And that was a whole like 10 years of my life. So it's like, damn, I'm literally entering a new era. I'm gonna just do a little bit of blush, bring some color into my face. This is the e.l.f. camo liquid blush. And that's probably even too much. A little tiny, like the tiniest bit of this goes the longest way. Of course, like it looks like it did absolutely nothing. For mascara, I always use the Essence Lash Princess. Like this is my holy grail. I want to start like trying new mascaras and really seeing what's up with them but this one is just so good like ever since MAC put me on I have not stopped buying this mascara. I noticed that when I don't curl my eyelashes they look a whole bunch better because I already have naturally curled up eyelashes so when I curl them it just doesn't look as good. I've also been using the Grande Lash Serum on them. Not every day but like most days when I can remember to put it on before I go to bed. And I think it's really been working. Of course, I got mascara all over my eyelids, but I feel like if you're doing your mascara and you don't get it all over your eyelids, are you even doing it right? And then Alicia, like she slayed on my hair. It looks so good. And this is actually a straight wig, but I just asked her to put curls in it. So she did layers and curls. Okay. That's literally all that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean the mascara up off of my eyelashes and then I'm just gonna curl my hair. And then I'm also waiting for Layla to come because she's gonna come with me to the mall and stuff. Because like I said, I think I need to find a new, like either, I think I either wanna find like a skirt or like a new pair of jeans. I don't know which one I wanna find. I'm just kinda all over the place, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna do my hair and stuff though, and then I'll be back to y'all probably when I'm at the mall or when I'm with Layla or whenever, I really don't know. Hey y'all, so I just left out of the mall getting my nails done. Layla is with me. She had Chick-fil-A and I just got Auntie Anne. So I'm about to snack on this right quick before I pull off. I be getting sweet glaze with um my thing. And it's 82 degrees out here. So everything is fucking hot. Like my seats is hot. After this, I'm gonna just go home and I'll probably talk to y'all then because I'm just gonna eat these and then we just gonna ride back to the house. And Layla got a hair appointment, so yes yeah hey y'all so it is a little bit later it's 7 7 p.m and do y'all see how the sun is still out it feels so good outside now because it's not like so hot and the sun is not out it's like it says 79 degrees in my car but it's actually 70 so it feels real good right now i'm on my way to go get some food because that's the last little part of my maintenance that i'm gonna be doing because when i'm eating i'm gonna be watching Grey's anatomy and then after i finish eating i'm going to edit for a little while i made my thumbnail and then my boo actually gave me my birthday gift because my boo is not gonna be in town um on my actual birthday so yeah my boo got me the new skims drop <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually on my way to Cubby's because I just got a taste for a burger. So that's what I'm gonna go eat. I haven't ate anything at all today besides those Auntie Anne's pretzels. And then I didn't even eat all of them because my little sister loves Auntie Anne's. So I was like, you know what? Let me save her some. Make his pockets hurt. Na, 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 na. Like, I really wish I had the panoramic sunroof in my car because, oh my God, I'm going 60 and a 45. Oh, almost ran into the Tessie. Yeah, I really wish I had a panoramic sunroof. Damn, that Tessie just said, fuck it, ain't got around. In my next car, that's a non-negotiable, definitely a sunroof. But I just been thinking like, I get a new car every year. In 2024, I'm not getting a new car like at all. I'm gonna ride this Kia out until I can't no more. I keep saying I'm gonna ride it out until I can't no more. But like 2025, I'm definitely gonna get a new car. But I just trying to figure out what I really want. Like I want a Benz, but it's just like the maintenance on a Benz is so expensive. And 
I don't really care. Like, I would get a 2025 Kia K5. Like, I'm not even joking. I love my Kia down. And I feel like if I get a Benz, it would literally just be for the look. The sunset is so pretty, though. But yeah, I'm just talking, y'all. I'm finna go give me some food. I'm, like, almost there. Not really. I'm, like, five minutes away, though. I really need to go get my car washed. Oh, also, see, this is why, because I just be having so much to say. But we're moving. <laughs> we're moving houses um really soon like the beginning of next month so pre be prepared for the moving diaries and no i'm not moving out because i'm gonna leech off of my mom forever well i don't even leech off my mom like i help my mom pay bills and everything i'm not just living here for free now, if your parents let you live for free that's fine but me personally i feel like if i can help my mom why not just help her like i'm her child but it's not so much like she's saying you need to pay like you need to pay to live here no, it's really just me helping her because she's my mom and she deserves it. So, like, oh my God, the place is so pretty. My room will be like two times bigger than what it is now. I'll have so much more space. The kitchen is upgraded. Like, everything is just, it's just real good, real cute. <laughs> um, but that's all I'm gonna talk about it because y'all know when you talk too much about shit, you start to jinx it. So, it's just so weird because we've been living in the house that we live in now for the past, like, three years if we would have stayed next year i think it would have been four years or going on five i don't know but we've been living there for a while now I, I was just, i'm just so sick of looking at the same shit every day and normally every time my family moves i'd be the one like oh my god i do not want to move but this time i do but yeah i just talked the whole way to cubbies because i'm literally about to pull up i'll probably talk to y'all again when i get home yeah i'm gonna go in here grab my food and i'm gonna see y'all when i get back home hey y'all so i'm so sorry that today's video was cut kind of short and like random um i don't really know what happened with that because after i ate in the last clip that was literally all the maintenance that i did and i never finished off the video i did plan to give y'all a sheen clothing haul but i just never got around to it but y'all will see all of my fits and stuff in my next video which will be my birthday vlog and i literally cannot wait for y'all to see that because i've haven't even started editing yet but i know it's going to turn out so good because i just got so many good clips and i'm just ready for y'all to see the birthday vlog but i just wanted to pop in and make an outro before i forget um this is actually editing me i edited the whole video in one day so get it sexy but yeah i had such a good birthday and i literally cannot wait for y'all to see that vlog i'm gonna just keep saying it it's the next video coming right after this but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I have so much good content coming. I literally cannot wait for y'all to see it. April is going to be that month for me. Like seriously, it's going to be a good one. So make sure you check the description box if you want to know more about I Care Private Label. And then all of my social medias are down below because that's where I'm at when I'm not on here. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you very soon with a brand new video.